Hello. Look at the camera, Willoughby. Look at the camera. Show everyone what a pretty boy you are. This is my Mr. Willoughby. He's a whippet. And he's beautiful. And right at the moment, he's more interested in the dregs of my teacup. Because that's what we do. That's what we do. Yes, thank you. No kisses. Okay, hop down. Hop down, crazy creature. <sighs> that's my um, number two son. My number one son is currently um, asleep on the lounge because... Teacup. Because that's what we do, apparently. Um, he's Mr. Darcy. And this is Mr. Willoughby. And if anyone knows Jane Austen, they suit their character names way too well. Um, I thought I'd take a different approach with this whole makeup thing because I'm not a makeup artist. Um, would love to eventually, when I have some time, maybe when I retire or something, do a course. Um, but my knowledge base comes from about 20 years of community theatre. Um, so I thought what I would actually do is look at some of the, the looks that I've created for characters that I've done and for characters coming. So right at the moment I'm in rehearsal for a play called Shadowlands, which is, there was a film made about it about 10 years ago with Deborah Winger and Anthony Hopkins. It's the life of C.S. Lewis, um, the gentleman who wrote the line, the, the Narnia Chronicles. Um, and I'm playing the role of Joy Gresham, his American wife. Now obviously I'm not American, it's an accent I will have to um, play with and create. She's a New Yorker, set in the 1950s, and she's a Jewish New Yorker, so I have to find that accent. I don't want it overbearing. Um, it's hard, to <laughs> hard to explain. I'll worry about that later. But what I will look at is um, the makeup for for, for Joy. Um, as I said, it's set in the 1950s, so really um, structured eyebrows. I've just plucked my eyebrows to within an inch of their life to try and get get that really structured V shape. My eyebrows are horrible. They're so. Uh, I don't know, shapeless. They drive me insane. Um, but I can't put any makeup on yet because they've, I've only just plucked them, so it's a little bit red and angry. <laughs> Oops. Um, but the one thing, and I haven't really created the look in my head of how I want the character to be. This is part of what I do when I'm creating a character. One of the one of the first things I do, other than um, what is the character going to sound like, so accents, etc., is what, what do they physically look like? Um, and so costuming, hair, makeup. And then that is also dependent on the size of the area, you, the, the city you're playing in. So when we did Jekyll and Hyde earlier this year on a really big stage, like the auditorium held about 15 to 2,000 people, 1,500 to 2,000 people. Um, the makeup had to be fairly big because you needed the people in the back rows to still be able to see what you're doing and you know this is where a lot of your emotion comes from um, particularly with subtleties in a character but this show is the the auditorium in this um, theatre only sits about I think 150 to 200 people so it's much smaller much more intimate so it doesn't need to be out there in your face kind of makeup well, do you want to go out in a second? Um, yeah, Bobby, I'm coming. So, but one thing I definitely know for sure at this stage is red, red nails. It was, you know, a very um, 1950s thing, um, and particularly for Joy because when you first meet her, she's actually gone to England. She's gone to Oxford to meet C.S. Lewis, and she needs to stand out that little bit from the English women. You know, he's this bold, um, fantastic, l effervescent New Yorker in the middle of Cambridge, or oh, sorry, Oxford. Um, it's 
you know, there's got to be a significant contrast. So that I definitely know. I do have to tidy up my nails. They probably need an infill. <laughs> I'll do that later. Um, but that's definitely the first step. And as far as the rest of it, <laughs> I'm going to make all of this. This is my natural hair washed this morning. No product. Oh God, look at it. Uh, nasty. <laughs> oh no, you didn't. Um, this is all going to turn into 1950s. Thankfully, for, for once, the character is actually my own age. 38. Love it. I don't have to age up or age down. That is fantastic. So, um, I'll be back later. Bye.